So as I was saying, it's a personal experience and I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but it happened to me and I'm still trying to sort it out. So I went out, came back with a car that I have I would never have expected to come back with that particular day. I saw something specifically designed for me, in my opinion. But in the end, I bought the one I thought was cost efficient. So I got the car, drove it home. A friend of mine was with me and uh, everything was all good until a few days later. In fact, we did every document, every documentations that needed to be done that same day and everything was all fine. Brought the car home, parked it on the driveway, and you know, I check on the car regularly. I I don't really have much place to go like that. It's not like I even needed the car that much. But you know the thing about missed opportunities. Sometimes there are some very sudden and huge opportunities that just show up. And you feel like, oh, if only I had a car, I would never have missed that. So that was just my major reason. But then I had not been able to do the insurance for one reason or the other. But every other thing, taxing, that's the road tax and MOT, everything was in place except for the insurance. So I couldn't even drive the car around. So after we brought it home that day, I parked it on the driveway and then started working on getting the insurance up because I needed to also work on my driver's uh, license for this country because the one I was holding uh, with Sun Aspire, which was from my country. Now, while the car was parked on the driveway here, was it in the residential parking area here? Guess what happened? I got a mail saying that I have just received a parking ticket for a car that is parked in my uh, beside my house here. And guess where the uh, parking ticket came from? That's that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It was coming from London. The distance from here to London is almost five hours. It's well over four hours. So I can tell you it was not my car. As soon as I got the ticket, I jumped up and then straight up to where my car was. And lo and behold, it was still there. My car was not stolen nothing was missing in my car only that it got a parking ticket in london so i began to wonder is could it be that uh there's a there's a fault in the parking tickets whatever body is you know issuing the parking ticket there's a fault in their system or could it be that i don't know could it be somebody trying to scam me? I've I've never had that problem. They say more money, more problem. Now I have a car and now I'm having that problem. I was just on my own sleeping and then I woke up, I needed to get a car, and now I have a car and now I'm having a parking ticket for parking at a spot where I have never been. So immediately I called the young guy who sold the car. The guy who sold the car to me is the grandson of the previous owner so he was the intermediary between myself and the old man the elderly man rather who was the previous owner of the car handing over was smooth i did not suspect anything so immediately i told a few friends they said ah bradford you know they were saying blah 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 i said no this guy 
In fact, he followed me all the way to my house where we parked the car to ensure safe delivery. We've been in good communication since I got it. So there was nothing to suspect from the guy. And at the end of the day, he had nothing to do with it. As soon as I called him, he said he too has never experienced that. And not one time did such a thing happen while his granddad was driving the car. He's the grandson of the man. The man, the previous owner is about 80 years old. So he said nothing of such has happened. So I began to make inquiries. Some said call the police. And that's even what made it worse. Call the police. I think when I got the ticket, it was already too late. I couldn't call the police. So I made up my mind the following morning, which was a few days ago, I'm going straight to the police station. And uh, that's when I, I even knew that in this country, there are some police stations that are not open to the general public. They have a large building, everything in place, but it's not open to the general public. I never knew that. So I got to the police station. I was trying to look around from where to enter. Nothing, nothing. Until I saw a sign that says, I saw a bell. Actually, I was going to ring on the bell. And then I had to, something just took my eyes to the notice where it says, do not ring this bell. <laughs> that was actually funny. Do not ring this bell as this station is not open to the general public. So I'm like, how then do I complain about this thing that's just happened? Or how do I stop it from subsequent occurrence? And from there, while I was walking away, I think I met someone else who um, was just, you know, I had to ask somebody who was passing by, who now described a bigger police station where I now had to go the following day because it was also getting late that same day. So I went the following day, and after a long queue at this headquarters station, it was the, still the same story. Like, we cannot resolve this here because this did not happen around here. I thought the police are connected in some way. Moreover, this is supposed, they said this is the headquarters of something, something. So I became confused. Like, more, I was already confused and I became more confused. But I left and the course in the course of my investigation i realized that it was actually not the fault of the uh, body that issued the parking ticket in fact i got to find out that this is not the first time situations like this are happening i was just you know in the line of fire Someone got exactly my car. They, in fact, they must have had it because I just got my own car. They must have had their own car. The same color, the same specification because they sent me a picture. You know, in the parking ticket, there was a picture of my car, about four pictures of my car. You cannot deny that it's not your car. But for me to see a clearer view of the car, there was a link their website where i went and then i checked all the pictures and confirmed that that is not my car it's about 80 percent plus my car like when you look at it color year same model same everything except for the plate number of course plate numbers anybody can quickly change plate number so how do i prove that this is not my car they turned out that my car had been cloned even before I bought it. So it must have been cloned while the previous owner was using it. So what do I do? I'll continue this story in the next video. If you have any suggestions, because I have not yet resolved this, if you have any suggestions, kindly use, or if you've experienced this before, use the comment section and let's uh, interact. Thank you so much. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.